So what we have here is a contrast enhanced CT scan of the abdomen in a patient who presented in the emergency room with fevers, chills, and uh, lower abdominal pain. We'll kind of scroll down here and the first thing that catches our eye um, is normal right lobe liver. In the left lobe liver we have a multiple, uh, a complex, predominantly cystic mass like lesion in the left lobe liver. It does have some peripheral enhancement. There are multiple locules of fluid. Um, there is some adjacent lower areas of attenuation within the liver. Now the differential considerations in this would be abscess or tumor. Do not see a lot of it solid enhancing tissue. There are some septations and complexity. Um, this adjacent reactive tissue is more characteristic of infection. Um, so it's, it's quite likely this is an hepatic abscess, especially given the patient's history. Uh, so the next thing we have to do is kind of figure out what might be causing that. Um, and we'll kind of scroll through. The kidneys look okay. Uh, no retroperitoneal lymphadenopathy. The most common cause of an hepatic abscess is a GI infection, often um, diverticulitis. So we're coming down to the sigmoid colon here. And I notice there are multiple small outpouchings on the sigmoid colon here and here. So we have some diverticulosis. And then we have this area where the colon is markedly thickened. There's some adjacent, what we call fat stranding with kind of linear areas of higher density in the fat about the sigmoid colon. There's also this irregular collection of gas and fluid outside the colon compatible with a diverticular abscess. So we have diverticulitis with a diverticular abscess um, and likely secondarily co um, complicated by this large uh, hepatic abscess.